Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bob Waldron and welcome to an ice another inbox review, which we have for our inbox review today is Eddard, the Sopwith Camel Comic. It is in 148 scale and it is a Prov-V pack edition. Um, this kit was released um, new tooled in 2003. This actual box here was reboxed in 2022. Um, apparently it's had some new parts and stuff, but yeah, it's sort of an old kit, but it's still really, really good. Um, it does come in at around about £21.20 as well, so not really breaking the bank. And with a probably pack edition, we get some nice, um, you know, photo etch and canopy masks and all that good stuff. So just getting started with this, let's just get out our first couple of sprues. Let's get out our main sprue just here this is uh, as you can see it's not going to be a very big one um, but it is a, a world war one type thing so yes you got all that um, um, all the using the easy lines and stuff so um, you know it's not everybody's cup of tea and it can be a bit fiddly at the end but for something that's from 2001 Eddard is you know still going strong I mean uh, if we look at the surface detail we can look at the actual fuselage section here we can see that lovely sublime type um, sort of micro kind of recess rivets on there even we can see all sort of the raised areas as well we can even see the bits of ribbon in there especially the ribbon that is on the wings as well I can feel nice sort of raised feels like raised rivets or something going on there um, but really nice nice detail as you can see a um, bit of the top part of our fuselage section again lovely surface detail there very consistent um, nice sort of good surface um, texture as well um, if we flip this over I have already noticed that yes we do have ejector pin marks inside of the cockpit I've already checked the instructions and yes they are going to be visible mainly this one here and this one there so a little bit of filling and sanding um, but there's, um, I think that's really the only one I've really sort of noticed. And it is in a flat space, so it shouldn't be too hard. You haven't got detail around it to sort of mess about with. Um, you should be able to fill them quite nicely. Um, not bad so far. Um, we do have another two sprues with this. Um, on this sprue here, we have all sorts of little bits of detail. Bringing your attention to, you know, we do have the instrument display panels right where we have nice detail if you want to go off and paint them but we do have them blanked out as well and it looks like we've got a couple of different versions also so they're nicely blanked out if you want to do go down the photo etch route um, as well as lots of sort of lovely engine detail to like build up a nice lovely lovely engine because they're a bit more on show with these kind of birds um, and then yes we've got some sort of little bits of um, internal detail you know um, what's that like fire extinguisher I think and um, maybe the joystick just there um, we've even got some free fall bombs as well they're all one piece and you know quite a lot of small small tiny detail as you can see just there with those little three four bombs uh, moving along we have all sorts of things like aileron uh, um, flaps and sort of slats and all that good stuff and wheels just on here which you know they've got quite a nice bit of detail on those hubcaps just there um, again same level of surface detail throughout um, what else have we got on here sort of like the the landing gear bits just there um, again I'm not just checking for those nasty eject pin marks which you know I'm not seeing them except for in that the cockpit area that one or two to sort out I mean looking pretty good bit of engine cowl up here right again looking nice and smooth and all good just there we have our MG's as well which do have that nice lovely detail on them checking for eject pin marks no we're all all good um, there is a little bit of um, sort of clear parts with this um, as you probably expect from a world war 
one plane um, looking at it um, hopefully as you can see on camera looking quite shiny I'll just lift it up into the light just to double check we've got no nasty sort of cobweb effects you know looking all nice and clear no scratches yep all nice to go in um, we'll move along with the actual photo etch bits as well um, we do get like the canopy masks but it's, um, as I say, there's not much sort of clear parts, but we do get some, um, but you do get like the wheel masks in there, which is a nice little bonus. And we're photo etched just here, if I just pop this out. Not a major lot, but you know, it is World War II. And hopefully what you can see here is we have that nice sort of wood effect on there. We have the dials, which has that sort of new latest where they actually, Give you a nice gloss effect to the dials as well the wood effect i mean does look quite nice actually um and probably some sort of grills and all sorts of little bits and bobs that go along there probably i think those are sights as well um, nice little bit just to add that little bit of a nice touch to this um next up decals the decals or decals right these um they do feel to be nice and thin possibly going to go nice with micro solid set but if not mr mark setter or softer should probably sort these out and as you can see they um you know the colors look you know pretty good nicely in registry um and i'm oh you even get some dials as well which is quite nice so if you didn't want to go down the photo etch route you've got just the dials there just to kind of like um, add that if you want to go down the painting rule uh, route that is a nice nice touch just there um, looking at the instructions as always edard nice good quality instructions with um, it in color and if we just sort of go through this um yes we start off with um bringing this all together and um the internal side of stuff now you, you're going to probably want a wood effects for this so i do have somewhere where have i put it ah just found it um, wood effects i think uh, i mean there are ways of do going about it but you can get this photo etch right um i've had this for years used it on many many models right really good sort of grain wood effect it's by um rb productions as well um good investment there i mean sad we don't have them in stock but we might do one day um also um um Ush, Ushi, i'll never be able to pronounce that right by van der rossi or something like that um these easy lines going to be great for doing all your, your rigging and stuff at the end um different thicknesses and stuff again something good to get your hands on for this kind of a build um, but yeah as you can see we have um, just this little bit of a rib work there so that ejector pin mark is going to be on show um, bringing sort of like the fuselage together it you know it does the instructions are explaining it quite nicely um, you do have the the nice engine section which is going to be on show a bit so it's good to sort of spend a bit of time on that and then you just bring in these wing sections together and your tail section um you got all these mgs on there um it, it does seem like it's going to go together pretty sort of quickly just as i say that rigging is going to be a pain at the end but you um, do get the canopy mask it does show you and the wheel mass and stuff and where they go um and then you put the the, the landing gear on and stuff but we do have i mean the the rigging side of things is probably going to be the hardest part of this especially if it's your first time but we do have some very nice diagrams as you can see showing where all the rigging goes so it does look like it's going to get you there knowing where everything's going to go um, just get some nice good rigging to go with it and then we have markings which we have one two three four five six nice markings to go with this we've got a very nice sort of colorful one to go with uh, to, for this if you want to do something a bit more sort of brighter and in your face uh, but then we've got some sort of more sort of standard um more in use kind of markings as well as you can see um, a nice bunch to choose from um, so all in all i mean let's face it 21 pounds and 20 pence you cannot grumble at that price um, it is an old sort of mold from 2003 but do you know what 
Eddard and their sort of molding process, it still looks just as good as some of their stuff that they do today. So um, no qualms about that. I'm not sure how well it goes together, um, but there shouldn't be too much of a major issues. I mean, Eddard are pretty good most of the time. So other than that, I mean, for the price, for what you get, you even get photo etch masks, lovely decals. I mean, yeah, it's definitely a big big thumbs up so um, if you want to get one we do have them in store but um, apart from that as always until next time my name is Bob Wardrin this is Genesis Models and I hope you've enjoyed